So then, scrambled eggs. Simple, tasty, cheap, all of these good things. Today, I'm going to show you my way of making scrambled eggs. Now, a lot of people make scrambled eggs in the microwave. I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure I've eaten them and I haven't noticed the difference. But I, I make mine in a saucepan because I am Mrs P. And Mrs P lives in East Belfast. And in case you haven't noticed, we're quite into doing things the traditional way in East Belfast. So I will make scrambled eggs using my traditional route, which is a frying pan. Then I will do my traditional East Belfast march. To get my traditional East Belfast eggs. Disclaimer, the eggs aren't actually from East Belfast. Then I shall get my traditional whisking jug and crack in my traditional eggs. I shall get my traditional fork and I shall be doing my traditional whisk march. That is where we go clockwise rather than anti-clockwise. Because these, these are the eggs of tradition. These are eggs the way we've been making them, the way our fathers made scrambled eggs, the way our forefathers made scrambled eggs and the way our forefathers before them made scrambled eggs. Eggs, the traditional way. I shall grind in some pepper and I shall grind in some salt. And I shall give that a little stir around. I shall turn on a traditional low heat. And add a traditional smallish amount of butter. Probably about 10 grams. And I shall allow that butter to melt in the frying pan in its traditional way. While the butter is melting. I shall go and hunt of my traditional scrambled egg spoon. Marching in my traditional way all the traditional time. That isn't quite melted yet, so I'll do another little traditional march, just for the lols. When the butter is melted, pour in your whisky eggs. And a light cook. Stirring fairly regularly. This should only take a couple of minutes. Now, is also a very good time to put on your traditional toast. Except, don't tell the traditionalists, my toast has like walnuts and shit in it. It's not very traditional at all. So the eggs are cooking away over the low heat. Cook, 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 cook. Cook, 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 cook. Cooked eggs. Now, to 
stop your eggs going super rubbery and all tough and horrible is what we do is we actually stop cooking them. Sort of at the point before they're totally solid. Now this is a little bit counterintuitive because runny scrambled eggs are not that good. But if you stop at about this point here, when you've still got some runny bits of egg, but it's mostly cooked, you get another smallish amount of butter, add it to your eggs, and beat in the butter. Well, not beat it in, kind of stir it a little bit. Stir, 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 stir. This means you have lovely, light, fluffy scrambled eggs, but the eggs are totally cooked, which is awesome. Stir, 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 in your traditional way. Then you get your traditional scrambled egg serving plate, and you serve your traditional There's the toast ready. And there is lunch. For more ideas just like this, www.littlepinkkitchen.co.uk. Pluggy plug plug.